Welcome back, my fellow adventurers. Today we are checking out the Chu Ranch out here in uh, Dinosaur National Park. We'll start off over here at this little cool looking cabin. This was an unexpected find. We were just trying to find a camping spot and uh, pulled up across this place and uh, we had to just jump out real quick and film it while we had daylight left. They left some uh, their old machinery behind. Luckily for us, we could check it out. This whole place did seem uh, open to the public for, for the most part. Over here at least anyway, you know, doors open. Up there, some nice original logs. Over there's the the shepherd's uh, camping wagon. It could be like a more technical name, but that's what I call it. Just sheep herders usually camp in these things. Uh, take a look inside real quick. Down there's just some storage. Right over there to the right probably would have been like a uh, stove. Up there on top um, would have been just their sleeping quarters. Very small, basic setup. A lot of the sheep herders here, um, over here anyway, just uh, use those. Pause to read if you want to take a look at this one. Gives you a little bit of a history about the place. And then we'll uh, mosey on over here to this cabin. Doors were knocked over. So, kind of just going through. I like to call it uh, the open door policy. I know a lot of other explorers kind of use that policy as well. Old farming equipment. I believe that one used to like till the soil. I could be wrong. Don't criticize me too harshly now. Nothing much in these ones. Just an old, old tire. I kind of like just the the old wheels, old automotives. Oh, there's my finger. You gotta love the professional quality I got right here. Down there's the main house. Another shack. Take a quick look back at the cabins. And, uh, there wasn't much to see on this one. Maybe they would have kept small animals in there. And uh, over here, this was all pretty much torn down too. Um, I believe it was just a pasture at one point. We can kind of see like just a lot of corralled land inside there. So I'm just gonna go with a uh, pasture for all their livestock and everything. Coming up to the house, I uh, was taken away by just how nice this view was. Big giant trees, some of the sun shining through. And there's the house right there. So as you could tell, I'm already having to dub over this video too. Um, the wind and part of the audio when I was recording this just was not working for me at all. And when I was talking in the actual video, it just sounded like really staticky. I'm not sure why, so I figured I'd just uh, dub over this one as well. Getting ready to go up to the house, I noticed over here was like uh, one of those underground cellars they would have used back then to keep some of their food a little bit more cooler, kind of like an outdoor refrigerator. And then over here to the left, of course, they had an outhouse. All these houses way back when had these outhouses. And of course, with outhouses, I have to go check them out really deep inside. Oh yeah, look at this. I didn't get too far in because as soon as I got that close, I could already smell a little something something, you know. Oh my lord. I bet people like just nowadays, recently probably, uh, made a deposit there 
I don't want to get uh, too up and close with that one. So I start making my way. I believe this was the front door, just because of the outdoor porch. And uh, when I came inside, we were greeted by this beautiful little uh, Colorado lizard. Sadly, it did not want its picture taken, did not like my video with taping, so I left it alone. Did a quick little uh, look around on the porch. And uh, decided to make entry. The door is padlocked, yes, but again, most of uh, us explorers, you know, are really respectful of any and all places. This was open right here, so again, open door policy. Wasn't here to do any mischief, just wanted to take pictures and videos, so hopefully I'm not offending anyone by doing this. Nothing but respect. I just wanted to capture what we could capture. Quick little view of the living room. Coming over here, there's some uh, fairly recent cleaning products. I'm not too sure if they're trying to restore this right now, just given that there was cleaning products. And here was uh, one of the bedrooms. Nice little closet, sadly nothing inside. Oh yeah, I look around. <clears throat> I love the uh, paint peel off the walls too. Just the natural decay of things. Nice little view from outside the window. And this really old, uh, deteriorated either carpet or rug. It was all throughout most of the part of the back part of the house. It was, it was really cool. And here would have been, I'm assuming was their updated bathroom. I don't think they would have had a toilet, obviously with the outhouse. And look at this door handle. Oh, I love those with the old fashioned key. Just some mirrors, or a mirror, sorry. And then the uh, second bedroom. Looking around, seeing if there's any cracks or spider webs. One thing I hate most is when you walk into a room and you just get a face full of cobweb. So same setup as the other bedroom. Except for this one, it had a second door over there to the right, which was locked. I tried to open it, no go. Not gonna force it open if it's locked. And these curtains, look at these curtains. They're still here after who knows how many years. They're very brittle feeling, but it was just neat. So leaving the room, I wanna take one more quick look. Now onwards into the kitchen. Coming over here, you can see all the deteriorating paint. This was the back door. Heard some noise and oh my God. Ah! After the chaos subsided, I uh, disturbed one of the bird's nests. Quite the shock, it was awesome. But uh, they calmed down. The nest was right there on top of that mirror. They're still a little skittish, so I didn't want to go too far over by the window. I did want to check out the fridge though. Nothing in the freezer. But my lord, when I opened up that fridge right there, just stank of mold. I didn't want to get too uh, involved with that. And I didn't want to go over there and check out the cupboards because right there, the birds, they were already scared. I didn't mean to spook them. So I just backed away. I doubt there was anything in the cupboards anyway. I don't really want to mess, you know, with some baby birds right now. I want to be nice to all animals, so. That was it. That's the whole inside of the house. This is the outside. And uh, getting ready to leave, we noticed that little uh, shed right there. That's the back way. Beautiful sunset. Definitely had to come check this one out. I'm not too sure with this one. I want to say maybe this was like a guest house or I don't know, workers quarter. Who knows? 
I was just guessing because right there you can see an old iron bed, little locks. There's me uh, trying to look around and getting inside and just stumbling over everything. But yeah, just looking around. That could have been like maybe a closet, table. So I want to say, I don't know, just perhaps just a guest room. Anyway, that was it. This was a, a really cool find. I hope you guys enjoyed. Not too uh, much going on, but regardless, it was fun. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all on the next adventure.